Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got for you a B&M and Poundland haul. But first things first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Charlie. I do weekly videos on lifestyle, shopping hauls, home decorating, and I also shot in a DIY now and again. If that is something that you're interested in, then please feel free to subscribe. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below or you can hit the watermark that is in the corner of your screen. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. I tend to upload every Thursday at 12 o'clock. So if you hit that notification bell, YouTube will notify you every time that I have an upload. So grab yourself a nice cozy drink, light a few candles and let's just get into it. <music> recently went to B&M and Poundland and that have some amazing things in but I just didn't have enough to make a video on each store. So like my previous B&M haul, I just thought I would combine the two and just put it all into one big video. I say a big video, it's not going to be a big video. So I'm going to start with the stuff that I got from B&M first. So I recently decorated my kitchen when I say decorated it, I just give it a lick of emotion and I haven't done it in such a long time and now it just feels so fresh, so clean. So I just thought I'd pick up a few bits today in B&M that I think would go into my kitchen. So I've recently started to change all of my wooden accessories in my kitchen from the mango wood or the bamboo wood to the acacia wood. So I just needed a few items. And some of these items are actually from the bathroom section in B&M, but I'm going to use it in my kitchen. So let's show you the first item. So the first item that I picked up is actually called a wooden bathroom tray and it's just in this acacia wood. I absolutely love this wood. I think it's, it's very me. It's absolutely beautiful. Compared to the bamboo woods, I mean, B&M have all of the chopping boards in this now. They've got serving platters and I don't really want to get rid of all of my chopping boards. But for display purposes, I have bought this type of wood in a chopping board. So this is the bathroom tray and it's £4. Now, I think this would look beautiful with a botanical candle from the White Company. And to be fair, I'm going to actually do a White Company dupes video. They are so popular on my channel and I just thought that, I've just seen this and I thought, do you know what, I could do a dupes video because these are definitely dupes. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to place either a candle on there or I'm going to pop on my oil dispenser that I got from Primark that I've shown you in a recent video or you could put your hand creams on this and your washing up liquid but I've actually got something else for my hand cream and my washing up liquid to go by my sink but this is the bathroom tray so this doesn't have to be in your bathroom I mean if I was to put this in my bathroom I would maybe put a, a glass jar on there with some cotton wool balls in Maybe a nice bar of soap from TK Maxx. TK Maxx have some absolutely amazing soaps at the moment. Um, I wouldn't use them. I don't use bars of soap. But they would look nice styled on this plate. So £4 for that. And then I picked up the Acacia Spoon Rest. So I just picked up this to go by my kettle and it says have a rest and I think it's to place your spoon once you've stirred your tea or your coffee but it's just easy enough to put it in the sink wash it and put it away is it not rather than having your spoon laid out I know a lot of people leave their tea bags in them and things like that I've seen different people leave tea bags in this I wouldn't this is just for show purposes I might actually get a wooden spoon that sits in this just so that it's aesthetically pleasing but that's this is the one that I picked up 
and I think this was about £2.50. It doesn't actually have the sticker on it, but I think it was about £2.50. And like I said, these are just to go into my kitchen as decor pieces, really. So I think a nice wooden spoon or a nice black spoon would look really nice on that. And then I did say that I'd already picked up something for my washing up liquid and my hand soap, which I have, and it's just this wooden tray. Now this was £4 and I just thought this would look really nice at the side of my sink with my White Company hand, hand cream, not hand soap, hand cream. Um, I've got like a little brush that's got an acacia wood handle that I don't, I don't use, it's just for show. But they would look really nice sat on this tray. I've actually got a white tray at the side of my sink at the moment, which is very White Company-esque. But I just thought with me changing all of my kitchen to this acacia wood, then this would look really nice as well. You could even pop on a candle on there. Like I said, you don't have to use these for your kitchen. They are for your bathroom, but you could use them anywhere. You could have them on a side or on a coffee table with some candles on. The list is endless at what you can do with these, but for £4, I just thought I'll get that and that'll go into my kitchen as well. Now the last two items, I think they're the last two items, yeah, the last two items are actually for my daughter's bedroom. So I am going to be decorating my daughter's bedroom and I just thought let's just get some nice clean bedding. Now we've ummed and aired with colours and at the moment the bedroom is rose gold and it's lovely and obviously it's what they want but we we were talking about different colours for their bedroom and basically they've said they want beige and black. So I'm quite happy with that because that just fits into my home perfectly. Even if they wanted a different colour, they would get that colour because it's their room. That's like someone saying to me, you need to change your room to a different colour. This is my space, so I like white, beige, black and that's what I've got in my bedroom. So I picked up a super soft fitted sheet in a double and this was £6. Now this is super soft and it's, it's just a plain sheet. Now anywhere sells these but when I looked in places like Asda and things like that this one was the softest and to be fair you need a really nice sheet on your bed because that's what you lay on but yeah. So it's 100% polyester, it's in black, so I just picked up this. I always think black sheets are so nice anyway, even though I've got beige on my bed at the moment, I've still got a black sheet on. I just prefer having a nice black sheet. So I picked that up for £6. And then I picked up this reversible, super soft, piped detail duvet set in a double and it was £12. When I spoke to the girls they didn't want anything too loud or they didn't want no pattern on, they just wanted it nice and plain, nice and simple. We are going to be getting rid of their bed. Um, they've got a, a crushed velvet silver bed at the moment but well, I think we're going to change it to a nice white wooden one. That's what the girls have decided on. But this one was £12 and I just think for £12 you really can't fall off. Don't know how it's going to look on but it is reversible, it is piped and I think if this was me I would maybe have the beige showing and the black pulled down. But it's their bedroom, they'll do it how they wish. So I picked up this. So that was everything from B&M. Like I said, I didn't really go in for anything in particular. I had actually seen these on somebody else's YouTube, so I did actually go in for these, but the bedding was just something that jumped in, in the basket. I've actually stopped getting a trolley in B&M because when I have a trolley, I just fill it up. So I stick to a basket now. 
So that's that's a tip for you if you don't want to spend a lot of money in B&M. Take, take a basket, don't take a trolley. Because when I'm pushing that trolley, it just, I have to fill it. So yeah, I picked up them. So I'm now going to move on to Poundland. Now, again, I didn't get very much. Um, I did buy some clothing, but I'm going to actually do a separate video. I'm going to do a pep and co video. I did say previously I was going to do a pep and co haul because I just think popping it in a Poundland haul it just doesn't give pep and co the attention that they need because they've got some beautiful pieces in at the moment. So, I am going to show you when did Poundland do pampas grass. Now I'd seen this today and you get three stems in each so I picked up two and these were two pound each. Now I don't know how they're gonna they're gonna be but for two pound I thought let's just get them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh some of my pampas behind me. Um, I've had them for quite some time now so I thought I'll just give them a little bit of a refresh. So £2 each, I just thought they were a bargain. And I may actually go back and get some more for when I decorate the girls' bedroom because I think some nice pampas in a glass vase would look really nice. I just love pampas. I then picked up the Morning Flake Mighty Oats in the Golden Syrup. You get eight sachets in there and these were one pound. Now, I don't really eat a lot of porridge or oats or anything like that. But I do know when I have porridge, it fills me for the whole day. So I think I'm going to start back up on the porridge. And my daughter eats porridge as well, so she really likes it. And it helps actively lower cholesterol which I don't know what my cholesterol's like, but it's definitely not high. But for one pound, I just thought I'd pick these up. Every time I go to Poundland, I always pick up the kitchen towel. Now I think this was one pound fifty. A lot of things now in Poundland are not one pound. And to be fair, there was no way they were going to be able to carry on everything with one pound. Things are going up and Poundland seems to be going up as well but again it doesn't stop me from going in so I just picked up the super absorbency kitchen towels for spills and splashes and yeah or you can actually get them in the three pack and things like that so every roll is two ply 180 sheets I never ever count how many sheets are on this do you but I needed some. I always tend to wash my windows with the glass cleaner with this. Now a lot of people say use newspaper. I haven't got time to do all that. Let's just get the windows washed. Let's just use some kitchen towel. Um, again, mirrors, kitchen towel I find is amazing. I do have the green minky which is also amazing as well but when that's in the washing machine and you want to wash a mirror down then this is just good enough. I then picked up this brush. Now this is the bamboo back brush. I'm not going to use this. This is just for sure to sit on my bath board. I've been looking on Pinterest on how to style bath boards. Now I am actually thinking I'm going to buy the bath board from the white company. I can't find a dupe to it. So if any of you have seen a dupe to the white company's bath board then please let me know down below before I go and purchase it off the white company because I can't seem to find a dupe it's just got a sip like it's just got the most beautiful shape and after this video I may even have a look just to see if I can find a dupe I'm normally quite good at finding dupes but I can't find a dupe to that so if you do have a dupe to the White Company bath board, I'll insert a photograph here of what it looks like. I think on the White Company it's £60. Um, 
then let me know before I go and fork out £60 on a bath board to style. So yeah, I did pick up this. It was £3.50 and I just thought this would go lovely on the bath board. And now that I've come to think of it, this is a totally different colour to my bath board. So it might look a little bit silly. But nevertheless, I can use it if needs be. If I can't use it as a showpiece. I then picked up, these have been going around for ages. These were £2.50. It's just a glass jar with a bamboo lid with a little wooden spoon. And this is actually for my bathroom as well. I'm going to fill this with bath salts and then use the spoon to put the bath salts in the bath. How aesthetically pleasing is that? So, yeah, £2.50. They do different ones. They do larger ones, which I don't think they've got a spoon on. But they do larger ones, taller ones, fatter ones. But i seen it today and I did look for it not so long ago and I happened to buy one from b and it's got like the cork ball on the top which is it's quite nice as well i don't know now i don't know which one to use but i might just put this spoon in that one and use this for something else you'll see over on my instagram if you are following me my instagram handle is at all that neutrals i will leave the handle down below head on over there see how i style these items see how i style my home my attire, I do outfits of the day on there now, but just go and have a look. It would be lovely for you to go and have a look over there. But yeah, just picked up that. Now, I picked up this because it reminds me of the Scrub Daddy Scrub Mammy, and it's the Dishmatic Essentials Flower Power Scrub Scourer. This was £1.50 as well. Now, to be honest, even though I'm such a clean freak, I've never ever used a scrub daddy so this is all new to me so I thought do you know what I'll get a cheaper one see how I get away with it and then if I like it then I'll go and get a scrub daddy or a scrub mummy to be fair I don't see what the big hype is is it just like a scourer because I use scourers and I've used them for years but I thought I'd give this a go. So let's see how well this is. Because if I do happen to like this, I might invest in a scrub daddy. I think you've got to start with the scrub daddy first and the scrub mommy. If you use a scrub daddy or a scrub mommy or whatever it is, then let me know how you get away with them. Do you rate them? Do you think I should get one? I know in autumn they do like pumpkin shapes and Christmas time they do like Christmas tree shapes. But so do all the other scourers, some minkies do it as well. So what's so good about a scrub daddy and a scrub mummy? Because I don't know. So yeah, I just picked up this. I then just picked up some window and glass cleaner in eucalyptus and lemon from Astonish. Now, you know, I love Astonish. When I used to do cherries all the time, which I miss cherries so much. But I used to only ever buy Astonish. I absolutely love their products and I've not tried this one, I don't think. I don't think I have. It's with lemon oil and it's streak free shine. So can you guess what I'm going to be doing after this video? Apart from looking for that white company bath board. I then just picked up some Vimto fizzy pencils. If any of you know, I absolutely love fizzy pencils things anything fizzy toxic waste is not fizzy to me so when it says fizzy i have to give it a go so over on my instagram the other day i put a story up i went to a shop that's local to me and they sell all american candy um american sweets and drinks and they had a warheads sour black cherry drink i paid one pound fifty nine for this drink that was telling me it was going to be sour and it wasn't sour it just tasted like black cherry soda so wasn't happy with that so yeah i just picked up these they said it was fizzy so i'll give it a go don't know how fizzy they are i've not tried them before but these were one pound 
and if I don't like them, somebody in my household will. Now the next item, it says share bag, but I'm not sharing them. I always used to say, I don't like peanut butter. And to be fair, I think if someone offered me a peanut butter sandwich or peanut butter on toast, I probably wouldn't have it. But I am absolutely in love with Reese at the moment. Is it Reese? Reese's? Reese's. These are the peanut butter miniatures. Now in here, you get 300 grams and I think they're just the small ones. Yeah, they are. I'm definitely not going to be sharing these. Why didn't anyone ever tell me how nice these are? I tried them for the first time the other week and I was like, oh my God, have I been living under a rock? But I just think because it says peanut butter, I just thought, nah, I don't like peanut butter. But they just come in the little miniatures like this. I know everybody loves Reese's and I was like, nah, I don't like peanut butter. But do you know what? I'm going to have to have one while I'm on camera. I'm so sorry. Oh, I thought there were dark chocolate there. I was going to say, mm, I don't like dark chocolate. But they're in like a little case. So, yeah. These are my new favourites. Mmm. So nice. Look at that. And here's me saying, I don't like peanut butter. And I'm sat eating a Reese's miniature. Yeah. This is a resealable pouch. Which to be fair. I'm all going to get resealed. Mm. So guys, I hope I've got chocolate in my teeth. But that is the end of this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. It hasn't been a long one because I didn't really pick up much stuff. I have actually got some more filming to do. Um, I've got home bargains. I've got the Pep & Co. I've got things from Asda, TK Maxx, The Range. So I might put that all into one big video. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I enjoy bringing content to you. Like I said, I am wanting to get to my 1,000 subscribers by the end of July. So if you have yet to subscribe, please help my channel. I'm putting it out there. Please help my channel to get to that 1,000 subscribers. It would be an absolute milestone for me. I started YouTube a year ago and basically it was just a little hobby. And now I absolutely love it. I always ensure that... I give you weekly videos on anything really so if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet then please do so it does help my channel and until next time guys enjoy the day whatever it is you're doing I'm gonna go now and have a look for that white company dupes bath board but like I said let me know down below if you have seen a dupe of it because then I'll run out and get it and yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye.